Hello YouTubes. This is something a little bit different, something I wanted to try out. It is making an RPG. I have no idea how to make an RPG, but I've been trying for years, so I'm going to keep on trying. In this particular case, I'm making an RPG for Scarlet Acres, a comic that I've only done one issue of. We are going to call this RPG the Scarlet System until I come up with a better name. We have six abilities. Meat, which is kind of like our strength endurance mix. Sinew, think of it as dexterity. Brains, which you could easily substitute with intelligence. Heart, which is, eh, basically your wisdom and charisma. Your social stat. Uh, I'm using D&D analogs just to make it easier to attend to. Okay, we have two extra stats in here though. Limit, which is how far the character can push itself, which is self-explanatory, limit. I don't think there is a Dungeons and Dragons equivalent. And luck, which is how far the universe is going to bend to help that character. This is about as far as I've made it before I have to start messing with things. Let's start with a human equivalent. Well, let me explain how this works. So for the most part, any human is going to have these ratings listed somewhere between 1 and 10. The way it'll work is, this is diceless, there are no dice to roll. Instead what you do is you make a bid, this is very much based off of the uh, active exploit system if you've ever seen that. So let's say you have a meet of, I don't know, 8, but you have a limit of, I don't know, six, which is actually average, right there. Something else, there are three healths. There's physical health, there's uh, fatigue health, and there's sanity, because sanity. Most of what we're going to be dealing with is based off of willpower. So here's how this works. The DM will set a target number to complete a task, let's say lifting a rock. I don't know, seven. The DM will not say what the difficulty is. They can describe the rock, they can mention sort of how heavy it is, but not how difficult, what the difficulty number there is in order to, uh, to lift that rock. Two player bids now <clears throat> every turn in a game or every segment however you want to cut it up the bid or the attributes the four main attributes will always replenish so even though this starts at eight next turn or next segment it will become eight once again that's not what the actual bid is for. The actual bid is worrying about limit. If the bid is equal to seven, for example, or higher, if it's an eight, like a full eight, he can do that. Then he lifts the rock. All right, next thing about the bid. If the bid is below the character's limit, nothing happens. If the bid equals the character's limit, the character takes one point will damage. If the bid is above the limit, the character takes two points of will damage. Now, why only one and two points? Well, because willpower is only like 10, and it heals slowly. Some notes. Characters can bid from one or two attributes. There is a main attribute, 
then the character must explain why they're bidding from a second app attribute. Hmm, I might change that. I might have it something where they can bid from a second attribute if they spend a point of luck. In fact, let's go ahead and say that. Unlike the regular abilities here, luck and limit do not replenish quickly. Luck replenishes every, uh, let's say every game session. And same, well, limit would be like a mixture, hmm. Hmm, would there be a reason to lower limit? Because you're pushing yourself at that point. In fact, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this is the basics of the Scarlet system, right? So let's get it going a little bit closer with these abilities. So let's switch this around too. Attributes, there we go. Okay, these replenish. And of each turn for second. Okay, we have two, I don't know what to call them, things. Okay, limit and luck. We'll say limit. One game day for one point. And luck, since it's kind of a universal thing. Which is... Did I spell recession wrong? Doesn't matter. I can always write this down later. So, we've got characters. Let's talk health. Okay, blood is anywhere from 1 to 10 for a human. That way we can say, okay, you stay at a hotel for a week, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Will will replenish one point for every hour of sleep. So eight points a night, roughly, in case they want to sleep like the full nine points. We'll get into what happens when these are depleted to zero. We'll say that sanity goes up and down depending on whatever the circumstance calls for. How loud is this? It seems like it's too loud. La 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 la. Mm. Me 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 me. Yeah, it's probably a little too loud. <clears throat> okay. So what happens is if it's depleted? There we go. When blood it equals zero, whatever it is, is dead. There we go. When willpower equals zero, it goes into unconsciousness. Bad, uh, bad wording. Leftover willpower, willpower damage, if somebody's like cocking on the head, I think blunt instruments we can call will damage instead of, uh, instead of blood damage, will just turn into blood damage. So you could conceivably punch somebody to death. In fact, we've got to really probably work on combat. Eh, that's going to be its own thing, I think. No, not 25%, maybe 20%, maybe 15%. Yeah, we'll say 15%. If sanity goes lower than 15%, it means the player loses control of the character. That character is just so out of control, it can't do anything right. Either they're catatonic, or they're a gibbering mess, or they're constantly fainting, a la Lovecraft. Lovecraft. 
Lovecraft really liked fainting people. Okay, so this, for the most part, we'll call this the, the end of part one. And, uh, okay, what do we got so far? We've got six abilities, uh, meet, or six attributes. 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 Six attributes with four abilities and two thingies. Three healths. Meat, sinew, brains, heart, limit, luck. We've got blood, will, and sanity. We know roughly how bidding works. And it may seem kind of strange. I might have to go further into detail of how to explain this. But the gist of it is if you bid equal to your limit, you lose a point of will. If you bid above your limit, you lose two points of will. And um, starting health, I should say, is probably based on what kind of uh, creature you are. Humans will start at 10 on all of these except for sanity, which they'll probably start at like, I don't know, like 75%? Sounds good. The four abilities replenish to full at the end of every turn or segment. Basically, it's always there for you. And the reason it's like that is in the middle of combat, especially, you're going to be trying to do multiple things, and you're going to deplete yourself as you're trying to do these multiple things. If you want to attack twice in a turn, for example, you can try that. You're going to have a limited amount of meat points to, to spend doing that, and probably neither of them will hit, but hey, it's there. Um, limit heals after every full day of rest, one point per rest. Luck replenishes at the beginning to two full. Replenishes to full at the beginning of every game session. Blood replenishes after a full day's rest. One point for every full day's rest. Will, one point for every good hour's sleep. And sanity, eh. Zero blood means death. Zero will means unconscious. And leftover damage goes to blood. And 15% or less of sanity means you lose control of the character. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for this first episode. And, uh, you know what? Next time, next time, let's cover races. <laughs>